forgiveness is one of those things, especially on the MP side, that we're always looking at what forgiveness actually means. On the MP side, we're assuming that you're bringing to the table decent ball striking, that you're hitting it close to the center. Toe heel shots aren't nearly as important on an MP golf club as much as up down shots and making sure you're dialed into the proper trajectory. And when you look at the H4, it has the look of a Mizuno golf club, an MP golf club. Very clean at address, not too much offset, but at the same time, it's also got a lot of technology hidden in it. It's a grain flow forged golf club that on the long iron, especially the, the face, neck, and sole, which that, that allowed us to increase the COR even though it is grain flow forged. So you get great ball speeds and high launch with the grain flow forged golf club. And in order to get a deep center of gravity on this club, it is a hollow technology. It's basically, this is a forged face, neck, and sole piece with a welded back piece. And what we did with that is we actually were able to put a lot of weight low and deep. And as a result, there's a very wide sole on this golf club. Because it is an MP and it's gonna flow into lots of MP iron sets, we didn't want it to play like an overly wide sole. So we went back and beveled off this trailing edge. What that gives us is it gives you all the benefits of a wide sole in that low deep center of gravity, but it's not gonna play wide where it gets stuck in the ground. So what's great about this club is you sit it down at a dress and it looks clean. It doesn't have much offset. Very straight lines. The thing you'll notice is it's just a little bit thicker, but all the lines are really parallel, which is nice. It's got a thicker top line and you can see the trailing edge just a little bit, but what's nice is the trailing edge is parallel to the top line. So it looks like it's just a little bit beefier behind the ball. Right now I'm holding an MP64 four iron. And I'm going to take a couple shots to compare it to an H4, which is our Mizuno's DLR. It's our more forgiving long iron, so you can see the difference in terms of height. So that was a good strike there with the 4 iron. It launched high, but that was one of my better ones. So I'm going to hit the MPH4 right now just to kind of see how its ball speed compares to a 64. You can see the ball came off quicker and it launched higher even. So if I go back and compare this to a 64, I had a ball speed gain of about two miles an hour and a launch angle gain of about two, two degrees, which that's very significant when you're, especially when you're talking same loft, same lie, same shaft, same everything. So to be able to see a ball speed increase as well as a launch angle increase in the long irons, is really significant for somebody looking for an easier to hit approach shot. When I compare the peak height of these two, it actually, the H4 goes about two yards higher than the 64, which is good. I mean, this is on a four iron. As you get into the three iron and even the two iron, it's going to be even more than that, just because the H4 flows, gets even deeper center of gravity as the set flows. So when you're, when you're talking the, the four iron, it's a slightly deeper center of gravity. When you get to the three iron, even deeper, two iron, even deeper. Two yards higher doesn't sound like a ton higher, but when you're trying to carry a ball uh, you know, onto a green or come steep into a par five or something like that, two yards of added max height is very significant because not only is it higher, but also is going to come in steeper. When it comes in steeper, slightly more spin, it's going to hit and stop where you want it to be. It's going to be a more controllable trajectory. Now, what's great is because this thing doesn't have too much offset, you're still able to work the ball. When you get too much offset is when your hands start to to get too far ahead and the club sits behind and it's tougher to work the ball. By keeping minimal offset on this golf club, it's still easy to hit cut shots and draw shots. It, it's not quite as easy to knock down as a traditional MP club, but that's just because this club is designed to hit the ball higher. My name is Chris Fochelle and I'm part of Mizuno's golf club engineering team.